Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're talking about what might possibly be one of the best bezel-less budget laptops that are available right now on the market in 2019. And by budget, we're talking around 200 to 250 UK pounds and I'm gonna give you my overall first impressions review. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Now firstly, I'm guessing that if you're watching this video, you may be looking to buy a new laptop. But even if you're not, and you use one, without realizing, just from browsing the web, sending emails, making payments, etc., you're potentially putting yourself and your important private information like passwords and payment information at risk. This is why I personally recommend using Dashlane. Dashlane provides a convenient and safe place to store your passwords and personal information so that you never have to remember a password or pull out your wallet when entering a form or shopping online again. Not only does Dashlane make your online activity more secure, but also far quicker and easier with instant logins and one-click payments, as you can see here. It has made my life so much easier with all the different accounts that I have. It has an identity dashboard, which which keeps you updated with your online activity, security, and if it ever detects a potential breach, you will be notified immediately, which I think is really, really smart. On top of this, the software has a built-in VPN, which adds anonymity and another layer of protection, which has been a great thing for me, especially when traveling and using public Wi-Fis in hotels, etc. As well as this, it has secure file storage to keep safe all of your important IDs, etc. Now, this software is already used by over 10 million people around the globe, and if you want more information or want to give it a try for free you can do so by going to the link in the video description below or typing in dashlane.com forward slash asbyt and use the promo code asbyt to get a 10 percent premium code if you want to use the premium features you get a free trial so you may as well give it a go excuse this color variant because this isn't going to be for everyone it does also come in a really nice looking silver this is rose red I believe, and again, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it, but this is the Dear R9 Pro Notebook. It's 15.6 inches, and if we just take a little look here, you will notice we've got very minimal bezels. And I know that Apple aren't the best at everything when it comes to computers and laptops, far from it in a fair few cases, but let's compare this display to the MacBook Pro. So this is my 15 inch MacBook Pro, and excuse the fingerprints, but Look at the bezel right across the top of the MacBook Pro. And that's an extortionate amount of money compared to this little deer. See what I did there? Let's run down some of the specs for you. So as mentioned, we've got a 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080 resolution IPS display. My version is running English Windows 10. It's got an Intel Apollo Lake J3455 quad core processor, 1.5 gigahertz up to 2.3 gigahertz, 64 gigabytes of storage and an SD card slot where you can add up to 128 gigabytes of external storage, HD graphics 500, six gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and crucially, a 0.3 megapixel camera. That ain't gonna take good photos. Nevertheless, if you want a video call, it might just do the job. The display, to be fair, as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty nice display. It's not gonna be the best in the world, but it's certainly not horrific. The viewing angles, as you can see, as soon as you turn to the side, not great. Front on, fine, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Doesn't appear to be any screen bleed really either, which is nice. Now there are two speakers housed on the back. They're not great. I'm not gonna lie, if you're buying a laptop for sound quality, then definitely don't get this. They're also bottom firing as well, which isn't great, obviously, if it's on a desk or your lap, for example, but like I said, I'll play you a little clip. Which you've sort of needed, but we might just have a hands-on. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. In terms of how thin it is, as you can see, it's not the thinnest. There are thinner laptops out there, but for a 15 inch laptop, still pretty portable, not too heavy, heavier than the MacBook Pro, for example, but not like a massive truck. You've got your four rubber pads on the bottom to stop it moving on the desk. It is plastic, so it doesn't feel quite as premium as some of the more expensive laptops out there. And now onto early performance and what I found, like I said, word processing, spreadsheets, browsing the internet, light gaming. I've had no real problems. The fan's pretty interesting. As soon as you start Start doing pretty much anything it pops into the next gear of fan noise it doesn't then kind of go on from that and, and become horrific but anything you do on it basically kicks in a miniature bit of a fan noise so that might be something to keep an eye on but again you've got to remember the price for normal everyday tasks i pretty much like the performance 
Major video editing, etc. I wouldn't do. The keyboard and trackpad are kind of average at best. I would personally use a, an external Bluetooth or wireless mouse. The left click, for example, is a little bit hit and miss on that trackpad. It's a really nice big trackpad, much like, again, we've seen on the MacBook Pros, but it, it, it doesn't certainly not as good as a MacBook Pro. You would, you would expect that. The MacBook Pros are like 10 times more expensive and the keys feel quite mushy under fingers. Yes, on the whole, you can get done what you want in terms of typing and all the keys do work, which is always a positive. But certainly if you're used to a more modern small travel keys like the new MacBooks, the Huawei Matebooks, for example, as well, then this is gonna feel like you're kind of going back quite a long way and you get quite a lot of travel. I said quite a lot, quite a lot then. So now that kind of brings me around to my overall first impressions conclusion, and that is the fact that DDR3 RAM, not ideal. Six gigabytes, of course, not ideal, but for word processing and browsing the internet, for example, you're gonna have really no problems. Internal storage could again be higher. You've gotta come around to thinking about price. Would I buy this if my laptop was my number one thing that I'm gonna do absolutely everything on? No. I wouldn't. I don't think I would be able to rely on this. If you wanted a laptop for browsing the internet, light bit of gaming, and just sending a few emails and Word documents, things like that, then it's gonna do an absolutely fine job. Are there better laptops out there? 100%. Are there worse laptops out there? Again, yeah. If you were to get the silver variant, for example, which I would personally get, it's a, it's a nice looking laptop and it's under 250 pounds. Well, it was at the time I was sent it up. I will leave the link in the video description below. So if you wanna go through and check it out, you can. All in all, if you want a cheap budget, almost bezel-less design laptop, that's fairly thin in either silver or rose red. It's not gonna be the most amazing, but isn't gonna break the bank, then this is certainly an option you might want to look into. Here's where you guys come in. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this little dear bad boy. Like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're new to the channel and wanna be notified every time I post a video on anything tech, pretty much daily content here on YouTube. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Say SBYT, peace out.